support for today comes to us from the Old Testament book of Second Chronicles chapter 7, and I read from verse 11. God appears to Solomon again. After King Solomon had finished the temple and the palace, successfully completed all his plans for them, the Lord appeared to him at night. He said to him, I have heard your prayer, and I have accepted this temple as the place where sacrifices are to be offered to me. Whenever I hold back the rain or send locusts to eat up the crops or send an epidemic on my people, if they pray to me and repent and turn away from the evil they have been doing, I will hear them in heaven, forgive their sins, and make their land prosperous again. I will watch over this temple and be ready to hear all the prayers that are offered here because I have chosen it and consecrated it as the place where I will be worshipped forever. I will watch over it and protect it for all time. I want to speak to us this morning on the on four things as pertains or reflected in this passage of scripture. It's about prayer. The requirement for prayer, the need for prayer, the importance of prayer, and the benefits of prayer. And it's clearly stated in the passage of scripture I've just read, where God says to Solomon, if the people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear and I will answer their prayer even when I stop the crops from bearing, even when I send an epidemic upon them. If they pray, I will hear their prayer and answer their prayer. I want to say to us, brothers and sisters, we have more than an epidemic on our hands. We have a pandemic which is a lot more serious. And if you're anything like me, there are times when in this situation, we can feel helpless. But I thank God that even when we feel helpless, we can be cognizant of the fact that we are not hopeless. Because our hope is in God, our hope is in Christ. And this passage of scripture is calling us to pray. It's a requirement, because prayer is that channel where we access God. So there's a requirement to pray and the need to pray because we're in a situation where we cannot help ourselves except following the advice that has been given to us. And my brothers and sisters, we have to come to the point when we realize our dependency upon God. So therefore the importance for us to pray to God not just in this situation at all times, but even more so in this situation. And the benefit of prayer is only by the mercies, the faithfulness, and the power of God that we can be seen through this pandemic that faces all of us and renders us so helpless at this time. So I want to say to us as the people of God, let us not lose hope. Let us pray. Let us seek God. And God promises in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And God promises us that if we pray, he will hear our prayer. If we just humble ourselves before his throne of grace. God is with us in all things and at all times. Holy and loving God, we just thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love, for your mercy and your grace. Father of God, we thank you that you are God who is not just with us in the good times, but also through the difficult stages and times of life. Through our prayers, through our faith, we are assured that you are with us now, and we will continue to trust you. We will continue to call out to you. Our hope, our present, and our future depends upon you. In Jesus' name we pray.